What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care as it's time to take on Thirsty Desert Remix. But before we do that, you might want to see, look, I actually got platinum on this one. You can tell I've been practicing before, or in between sessions. I might actually be able to do everything platinum. Or at least try. I mean, I've I'm, I'm definitely got to because I need to do them in the videos. But anyway, if you're looking for a Pikmin 3 mission mode map that really makes you feel slow and like you're making no progress, this is the place to go to when you don't know what you're doing. My, uh, my nunchuck isn't responding. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? This time with less fail. Now, what I like to do with this, actually I don't need to move out, is generally I get Brittany to take on the purples over there and then Alf's going to take on this second batch of purples over there. Now, the big thing you're going to notice is, for one thing, we're in a really gross, dry desert. And second of all, all we've got are purple leaves, so... Basically, everything gets carried very slowly, and that can be quite uh, stressful. I'm not sure if that's the word I was looking for, but generally, the best technique I find is to sort of plan in advance what. Ca How do I put this? You sort of got to plan in advance what fruits or what Pikmin you want. What car? What? How do I do this? What? What do you want? What Pikmin carry what fruit? Basically, so maybe arrange beforehand if you want purple Pikmin to take stuff, like all this stuff nearby, or if you want white and pink Pikmin to take it, because there are candy pop buds here for just that purpose. Now we're going to take these, what, why am I want to say whites? Um, actually, what do I want these guys to even do? I want them to do something. Uh, I think what I'll do for now is I'm going to put them on these grapes. There we go, they should be done on th in three rounds. You, I need you on that, and you on that too. Uh, Oh my god, come on! I know I haven't played this game in literally two days, but please, I'm not that rusty. Now we're gonna have Alf go and get this second batch of purples over here. Brittany, what are you gonna do? Well, there's actually, it's something, it feels like something that would happen if you like made your own game, but... There is a row of eggs here, perfect for leading the Pikmin to where you want them to go. Sort of thing, like they go and break eggs one by one until they eventually reach the cherry and the golden... Stra not strands, thingy, golden shards, that's the one I'm looking for. So it's actually quite well done. Actually, you can't carry that alone, so what do I do with you? Um, hmm, I should get two people to do it. You pick that one up later. Now, Alf, while you're here and Brittany's over there working with stuff, we're going to have you go over here. I did actually have a very set up sort of strategy for this. Do I remember it? Not at all. Oh well. Um... I guess we can have more on there. Here's the big problem though, if they take the eggs in the wrong direction, they won't go any further, which is not what we want. So you guys come back and see they're making the right progress, that's what we need them to do. There we go, that's better. Alright, Brittany, you can... Are there any more Pikmin to collect? No. Um, hmm, I don't actually have a job for Brittany right now, so you can go back to base as well, I guess. Alf, you're pretty much there, I'll speed up the process by actually controlling you. Now actually... I do have something for some of you guys to do. Jesus, there's nine of you. Alright, well, I need four of you in there then. And five of you are going to cross the border because there's another... Well, once you get over here, there's another five... Uh, not five, but you can throw another five Pikmin into this candy pop bud here, which is what we want. Brittany, you're at base. Good, you can pick up the whites over here and then throw them on that shard. Let's go. Whoops. Well, actually, that sort of worked out. Alright. Now that we have 10 winged Pikmin, this is where things get interesting. I'm going to leave them there and have Alf wait here for the rest to come back, but we want 10 wi winged Pikmin because they're pretty important. You can probably tell, right. I'm going to have you guys stay at the base. Brittany, you can go back up to the top. And Alf, is everyone back yet? I would say this is probably the hardest fruit to get because you need all 10 winged, winged Pikmin to get it. So you have to throw at least 10 purple Pikmin into the candy pop buds to get this, but it's just, it's in the water, so purple Pikmin can't get it. Can I have everyone here, please? I feel like I'm missing one. Nope, we're fine. Okay. Um, Alf, you can also, I guess, go to the base for a bit. Sure. Ooh. Oh no, I was going to say, there's an enemy there in the water, but no, it's just flying above it. Okay. Purple Pikmin, we're needing you now. We're going to throw you onto the big stuff here, like that. Ooh. That. Ooh. If the Pikmin get here. And that. And then the rest of you are going to go over and help with these. I'm sure I can find a purpose for you later. Right, uh, Alf, you're going in the wrong direction. I was looking the wrong way. Okay. Just waiting for the Pikmin to collect stuff now. 
God, it's so slow, but oh, I remember hating this when I first got this mission, because it's just, I don't know, it's just, mmm. There's always seems to be like a one trick that always seems to make these so much easier. Like for this one, it's, I don't know why I didn't just run over. Okay, get over here, wing purple. Like for this one, it's always use the um, candy pop buds as much as you can, because then you get faster Pikmin. Don't die, purple, please. Get out of there. All right. Um, right, you do not work on that. You're going to work on that, but you are going to come with me. You are going to work on that, sure. You there, you can work on that, and you can work on that. I feel like I'm doing something somewhat wrong, but oh well. There we go. Because I remember at some point getting white Pikmin to collect all this stuff. Where are the white Pikmin, by the way? Oh, they're up there. Okay, we can take them on now. Actually, there's three of them. Where are the others? Hold on, let me look on my map. Oh, they're down there. Okay. Well... Alright then, Alf, you go to the base and pick up those white Pikmin. Or get to them at least. And then you guys pick that up. Uh, hmm. Okay, and then I'll get more for that later. Right, Brittany, we still have a white Pikmin up here. I can take something on. Right? Yeah, there you are. You just somehow avoided all of my whistling up to this point. You are going to help with the shard, little white Pikmin. Thank you. Now, Brittany, you can go to the base to pick up the ones that got the fruit. Alf, you're getting the white Pikmin for more stuff. There we go. Right, so you have... Uh, you could take that if you want. Um, sure. All right, and then you take that. It works out. Okay. And Alf, back to base. I think we're going to split things up. We're going to have Brittany taking on the... Ah, mm, ah. Well, now everyone's just everywhere, so I don't know what to do with everything. I'm going to wait a moment for everyone to come up. Hello, Alf. So we're going to have... I say have Brittany take on the white... The wing Pikmin. So there we go. And Alf take on the purples. Right. With these ten wing Pikmin, we've done pretty much the biggest thing we need them to do. So we're going to make them go far away to get some shards. Uh, sure, you can help. Uh, let's see. There's still stuff over here we need to collect. So... Also, something you might have seen me doing early, which is a really good technique, is throw the purple Pikmin ahead of you. Because that way, you sort of speed up the process and don't have to wait for all of them. You can just sort of whistle them up ahead like this. Very helpful. Right. That's that. We are now going this way. Actually, well, Alf, you can now walk this bit manually. Well, Brittany, here we go. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. This also is a really hard thing to get. The shard is just on the opposite side of the map, so it's really, like, it takes a long time. It's basically what I'm trying to insinuate here. Uh, what's left? Actually, um, well, that's, that's still being dug. Okay, I can get some pick to help on that, and that still needs doing. Okay, then what I'm going to do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then this last one. If you hold a purple Pikmin, you can run the speed of your character, which is also good for speeding up the pace. There you go, you help with that. And then you're going to the base to pick up the white Pikmin to get the shard near the base. You can do nothing but wait, so I'll just make you manually run. Going the wrong way, Alf. There we go. Man, this place is so pretty. On one... Well, uh, uh, I remember hating this place because it doesn't look pretty because it's all really dry, but on the other hand, it's sort of... I like the lighting right now. I guess it's sort of because it's near a sundowny time, I guess. Now, hopefully those purple Pikmin aren't going to struggle too much with those shards because you can see how slow they are. It's probably also a good technique at the beginning is to break this egg and get some nectar to speed up your purples, but... Oh, well. Okay. That's all the shards on that end, so I should get these guys to help out with the golden shard over here. Since the purples will no doubt struggle. Oh, they're already done. Okay, let me check on my map now then. Are there any more things we need to collect? No, we're already done. I mean, it's not like two minutes to spare like I've done in the past, or I will do in the past, but... Okay then, well actually, that might need a little bit more help. Brittany, you have stuff. You can help too. Get these guys, we're going to run along. Uh, hopefully I didn't... No, you're going to the shards, aren't you? Oh, wait, why am I... No, yeah, the shards finished. Never mind. Uh, 24 seconds. Yeah, we're done. There we go. Everyone's having fun. We're done. Now just try and get a good shot with all different colours. And throw in that golden strawberry and... Boom! Good lord. You know, I'm being really lucky with doing these first goes. I mean, I guess I sort of did practice for this one a little bit, but even then, I think I did this one in my first go when practicing again, so... Mm. There's everything. D 
didn't have a whole ton of time left, 11 seconds, but we did get platinum either way. And it's not my record. What is my record? Uh, that's not... Okay, it's 6,385. Alright then, try and beat that. Have fun. Now then, now that that's all done, I say let's move on to the next one in the next video. And hopefully I'll actually do it just as nice and easily as this one. Next time we're going to be doing... Twilight Hollow Remix. I actually have had trouble with this in the past. Oh boy. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to end it off here. My name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.